Hello guys, welcome to the second session on AutoGPT and as I said in previous session, I will explain how to install AutoGPT in your Windows system or PC. The good news is, you don't require higher ended system like RAM or graphics card to make AutoGPT run in your system smoothly. It just requires some tools to be installed and a good internet connection. Few of them are necessary and some are optional. For example, Python and OpenAI API key is necessary to function AutoGPT while Pinecone or Milvus and 11 Labs are optional. If you want AutoGPT to remember everything, you need to install Pinecone or Milvus and if you want to talk with it, you need to install 11 Labs. In this session, we will cover Pinecone as it is more popular and of course we want that it remembers the stuff. Now there are multiple ways that you can have an access to AutoGPT in your system. I have tried it and have came across some errors and found out best way to install them. We are going to cover two methods. First method is using command prompt and second is using VS code that is Visual Studio code. During installation, I came across some errors which I will cover so that you can clearly understand the procedure and don't face the issues which I faced. So first of all, let us search for download python and in the result, look for the first link. The URL should be python.org. Click here where it is written download python 3.11.3. This is the latest version available at the time of recording this video. After finishing the download, click this exe file to install python and make sure that add python.exe to path is checked. After finishing the installation, there should be a message showing setup was successful. If you want to check that until now, if everything we have done is correct or not, just press and hold windows key and hit R. It will open this window in which you will need to write CMD. Here you just need to type python space double dash version and hit enter. As you can see, it shows Python 3.11.3, which is the latest version we just downloaded and installed. Then you type pip space double dash version and hit enter. Now it shows pip 22.3.1 and then the path where we have installed this package manager. So until now, everything is fine. So let us move ahead. Now let's download AutoGPT and for that, just Google download AutoGPT and make sure that you are downloading from GitHub and the developer is significant gravitas. Now as I said earlier, GitHub is a platform for developers and anything over here is open source and improves continuously. It is necessary that you download the latest or most stable version. So here you can see there are 7 releases. Click over it and you can see the version 0.2.2 is the latest one. If you are curious, you can see under the section what's changed. Many developers are modifying AutoGPT for better performance and reliability. Now scroll down to assets under which there is a zip file named source code. Click on it and it will be downloaded quickly. Extract that zip file at the choice of your location. If you open that folder, you can see that the file it contains is exactly the same as shown on the GitHub. So up to now everything is fine. Next, go to the folder we just extracted from the zip file and look for the file named .env.template and open it with notepad. Don't worry, we don't need to understand anything from this random text. Just scroll down a little and look for where it is written open AI. Look for the text your open AI API key. This is the place where you need to just paste the open AI key. To get an open AI key, go to Google or just search from browser open AI API key. For that, you must be logged in. After logging in, you will be directly redirected to API key section. Now I already have experimented with this, so I already do have API keys generated. However, I will show you how to create new one. So click on create new secret key and give it a name just for your reference so that you can remember what key is created for which purpose in future. I will just give it a name test02 auto GPT and click create secret key. 
Now you can see that API key is generated and you can copy the key by clicking on these two square like symbols. As you click over it, it will be copied which we need to paste in the notepad as we seen couple of minutes before. So paste it by pressing Ctrl plus V and make sure that you paste it at the exact location. Now again, scroll down to the section of Pinecoin where we need to paste Pinecoin API key. We need to paste two things over here. One is the API key and another one is the Pinecoin region. So in the URL bar, just type pinecoin.io and hit enter. So currently it can be seen that the demand is very high and new users are waitlisted. But don't worry guys, we can continue with Google. Select your Google account. After that, click on API keys written at left side of the page and on the upper right corner, click on create API key. Now for the name of Pinecone API key, you cannot give space or uppercase. It only allows lowercase letters, numbers and hyphens. So I will give it a name similar to the one I have given to OpenAI API key for my reference and that is test02 auto GPT all without space and in lowercase. Now click on create key and you can see that the key is created. You can copy it by clicking here and paste it where it is written your Pinecon API key. Now come back to the Pinecon site and copy whatever is written to the environment column of the key we just created and paste it such that the text your pinecone region is replaced. Now save the file and close it. Now go to the folder and just rename the file in which we just pasted the keys using notepad. Just remove rename and keep .env as it is. A warning will be shown that if we change the extension it may be unusable but you can ignore it and just click yes. Now click on the address bar of the folder where we have copied auto GPT folder and type CMD and hit enter. Benefit of directly opening command prompt from here is that you don't need to change the directory to reach this location after opening the command prompt. You can see that we are directly reached at the location where we want to perform some task or where we have pasted the auto GPT file. Now just type pip space install space dash r space requirements dot txt and hit enter. Okay, now here is the error that says could not open requirement dot txt file error to no such file or directory. So basically it says that it is unable to find the file at the given location. In command prompt, we are currently in the folder named auto gpt 0.2.2 which is in downloads. But the file we require is in the folder located in AutoGPT 0.2.2, which is a subfolder. Moreover, it says that the new release of pip is available and the version difference is also mentioned. If you paste this line in command prompt, it will download the latest release. However, it is not necessary to do that, but we will do it right now. So let's just copy whatever is written over here, paste it and hit enter. So now it is downloading the latest version of pip, which is approximately 2.1 MB. So now it has successfully installed the latest version. Okay, for the error of requirement.txt file, let us change the path of the folder in command prompt. For that, copy the address from here, go to the command prompt and type cd, then just give a space and paste the path you just copied. Hit enter. Now you can see that we are at the correct location where the file requirement.txt is located. Now again type or I will just copy and paste this line and hit enter. So you can see that it has started downloading something. As of now whatever we have done is perfect and we are just one step away to run auto GPT in our system. But before that, we need to install git in our system. Most of new users might not have already installed it because git is an open source distributed version control system, which many ordinary users don't require. And it is more useful to developers. Git records the changes made in the code 
over the period of time. In short, if we don't install it, you will come across an error like this. So let's quickly install git first. So go to URL bar and type download git. Click on this link, which will open up a download page. Now click on windows, select 64 bit for windows setup. By the way, you can check your version like this. Click on start, type this PC and go to properties. Here you can see that your system is of 32 bit or 64 bit. So after downloading, open that exe file and click next. Keep everything as it is and click next. Next. Let git decide next. 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 Keep everything as it is. Don't check these boxes and click install. So installation is completed. I don't want to view release notes. So I will uncheck this and click finish. Now come back to the command prompt where we left. Now, as I said earlier, I'm demonstrating in older version of pip to let you know and confirm that you can also run auto GPT without upgrading pip. So guys, just type Python space dash M space auto GPT and hit enter. Just wait couple of seconds and boom, auto GPT is at your service. As you can see, it is currently asking me if I want to continue with my previous settings or not. This is because I already installed it and tried running it. So this was the first method of installing auto GPT in your system. See you in the next session of another method of installation. Happy learning. Thank you.